I have this beautiful denim fabric in black, sort of. And I had thought about a project, but I don't have enough material, which is a pity, really. It was a jumpsuit, but I don't have enough fabric. Anyway, I'll do it another time. And because I've been living in leggings for more than a year, two years, I think, uh, I think it's time to sew a pair of trousers. And the only time I had to learn how to make trousers, I'm, let's say learn, uh, even though I haven't made any more, but I guess I learned is when I did this uh, nice jumpsuit. It's really nice and comfy for summer. It's quite loose, so it's very comfy. And uh, I didn't add any darts or anything, so it was mm, really fresh. I added the zipper really nicely, I think, for the time a year ago. It was quite an ambitious project because I didn't know how to cut a pair of trousers and less how to make a jumpsuit but I followed a few, I watched a few videos and I read a lot and I ended up with my own block of measurements for a pair of trousers. From this, adding my top, my block for the top, I had, I ended up with my own jumpsuit block. And that was quite good because I have everything for other occasions. And from this, I'm going to trace my pattern today. It should be quite easy because I have this already done, so let's see how it goes. The other trousers I've sewn, the culotte and the black and white, I made following um, a pair of jeans. And the other one, the grey checker one, following a, a vintage Burda pattern from my grandma's. So that doesn't count. And I want to make one of these cigarette patterns. I used to wear them a lot when I was younger. These sailor style trousers are really tight and comfy for spring and summer. And I'm going to add an invisible zipper on the left. I like it on the left because I don't feel brave enough to make a fly. But I promise next time there's a pair of trousers cut here, they'll have a fly. I have to start reading about it. Once we have our pattern, we're going to trace and cut two fronts, two backs and the facings. We are going to sew together the two back pieces and the two front pieces and sew the new panels to each other along the sides and the inner legs, leaving space for the zipper. The facings need to be sewn on the side and then attached to the waistline. And once we sew the zipper in, we can stitch the facing on top of it and hem it. I'm going to be really careful when cutting because I don't want to end up with two right sides or two left sides. So just have that in mind. I have my two fronts and my two backs together. The inside is really black, isn't it? And I traced my darts as well, from the waist to the hip. And I only did one centimeter and a half each way, so three centimeters uh, darts. And if I need more, I can add up more. It's not a problem. So I'm going to sew them together by the middle bit. So then I can sew front and back. I'm going to use black thread and I have some jeans needles. So let's see how they work. I'm going to baste it and try it on before I sew anything and before I sew the darts in. Because I think, if you have a look, this looks quite curvy, quite, it has a lot of curve and I think I did that not to add any darts. I'm not sure, so I have them drawn in, I've traced them, but I'm not going to do them 
until I tried it on, just in case. I'm doing okay, um, before I put the zipper in, I'm going to cut some facings that I forgot to cut before. Facings are pieces of material and they are used to hide all the seams. So I'm going to cut some strips from the fabric I have left and sew them right sides together on the top of the waist. And then when you fold them in, you can't see anything and that way we can hide the zipper as well. Facings are not difficult to make but you have to make, keep in mind that you have to respect all the angles and things you have and I'm going to uh, sew them together and then on top of the waist. That way when I fold them in the, the seam won't be seen. I'm going to press the facing so it doesn't move as much and then I'm going to stitch it along the seams you can see on the outside but right in the middle so they are they stay in place and they don't they don't move for show There's only two things left, the zipper and the hemming. And for the zipper I'm going to baste it as well because that way I make sure it's perfectly nice. And I'm going to sew it with the facing open and then once it's sewn in its place I'm going to fold the facing back in, that way the zipper will be perfectly sewn. I didn't have any problems at all with the zipper and I think it looks quite good and I love the trick of uh, sewing the inside so when you turn it right sides out it's uh, completely hidden it's really amazing I love facings they look quite professional and now the hemming for the hemming I'm only going to do a simple hem folding only once it's not such a thick material but I think if I fold twice it can get really stiff so I'm going to just fold once and that will be it And this is the final result. It's a fairly easy project, it doesn't have much apart from creating your own block, which I leave you the link on the description below on how I made all the measurements and did the block so you can do it your own. I didn't have any problems at all apart from fraying, it's really fraying, the seams look terrible inside, really thready. <laughs> But, well, it's the problems of not having a serger, even though I zigzag stitch it everything, but, well, it's normal. Let me know down in the comments what you think about not adding darts, if it depends on the project, if it's a bad source trick, or... I don't know, I have no idea. I had the block done like that, I don't know why, I think because it was a jumpsuit and I wanted it uh, loose, but I don't know if I should fix it, if not, let me know. 
And for the next pair of trousers, I'm going to attempt a fly. So we'll see. I'm going to start looking into it and see how I do. So thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know down in the comments what you think, what your experience is with trousers, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything next week. Bye.